Hey guys, so if if nothing else, I think this chapter showed that Genius and Hawks have been the most proactive heroes in what while pretty much all this chaos has been going on. Just just from learning that they've been gathering int until this whole time, and 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 that's and 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 and, and we we've seen and and obviously we we've seen in previous chapters, including this one. Of, of of them just kind of of them doing just that like gathering all this intel but the end but the interesting thing is that with when, when we see hawks going over all the details of what's going on and, and all the information they've gathered what well, 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 obviously all well, obviously all well, the well, obviously the, the first delivery of all this is kind of clunky and front-loaded as fuck a, 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 lot, a lot of the information we're, we're getting in this chat in this chapter, it basically does it basically does a lot in order. It basically does its job, and it does a lot towards reinforcing a sing a, a pretty much singular truth about a, a singular the singular most important truth about this chapter, and honestly the the situation in its entirety. No more secrets. This society has been pushed so far past its breaking point now that all might can't afford to covet the secret of, of of basically all for one and one for all any longer if he did it would be just the most irresponsible the most irresponsible thing on his part like i'm like i i i, I hesitate to say this but i if 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 for much it turns into a situation where, where hawks or hawks confronts all might and and all might still and all might still pretty much refuses in order to tell hawks the truth about one for all for one. I hesitate to say this, but at that point, if if All Might refuses to tell him anything, All Might will have All Might will have relinquished any any right he has in order to call himself a hero. Like at this point, it is imperative All Might just just pretty much tell pretty much tells and t t tells someone about what's going on now. Uh, obviously, obviously, there's a question of of what of, of what Hawks intends to do with that information. But I think j just from what I've seen, it, it, it seems like um, it, 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 it looks like it looks like that Hawks is approaching this with the intent of trying to of trying to control this inf of Hawks's motive is to try and control the information and and just kind of and just kind of learn of uh, and, and once he learns what what what, the, what what one for all all for one is, he'll, 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 he'll pretty much try. He'll pretty much. He'll try to figure out the next step. But the thing is, it's. And the thing is, I'm. I'm not sure how he'd go about, sh like, like pretty much sharing this information. But one way or another, it's kind of a requirement that, that they that they pretty much know, that 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 at least the heroes pretty much know about about one for all's origins in order to truly move forward. Like, at like at this point. At this point, in order for Hero Society to even move forward, like like past this point, past this point of 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 the world being plunged into absolute chaos, they pretty much need they need to know like the root cause of it. And for as much as it, as hard as it is to say, the the the, the, the pretty much idea of uh, the whole existence of the legacy of one for all and all for one, the, 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 these these two forces are kind of at the root cause of it all. And and in order to truly move forward, you have to, you have to, you have to know this information, unfortunately. And yeah, j j just as I had thought, Izuku's Izuku's coma had put him into a sort of a meditative state where he's currently communing with his predecessors. So we're probably going to jump into that next week. But given the circumstances, I hope he wakes up in time in order in order to be part of the conversation between Hawks and Alme, because I think this conversation will, will more than likely involve present company of Class 1A as well. Like cl Class 1A is, I think on top of Hawks, Class 1A is gonna be is gonna find out the truth about about All Might and Izuku as well. So yeah. Um, now let's take a moment to talk about Bakugo because even though his outburst was largely played for the comedic effect, I think it's also a, a, a very key indication at just how far his character. His, his character has developed and how far he's come with especially with just and especially how much his relationship with Izuku has developed and I, I won't try to rehash like too much of history but 
it goes without saying. It, it, I think it goes without saying that uh, that that at the start of the series, Izuku and Bakugo's relationship was very antagonistic, and that had pretty much continued af- even after their acceptance into UA. The, however, if the, the final exams were of course the first turning point where a small flicker of respect had had, had pretty much had, had begun to spark between. Well, but, but between Izuku and Bakugo, however, largely on Bakugo's end, he still kept, he he still kept, he still kept the, those those feelings of respect hidden under the veneer of his pride, and that it, that that, that is of course, until the aftermath of the first all for one incident, where everything between Izuku and Bakugo basically reached its boiling point, and it was and it was then on, where the most important change happened, because now. In this particular instance, with with Izuku in the shape he's in, Bakugo has basically dropped all pretense, and in this instance, he's basically showing what what Bakugo is doing. He, again, even though the even though the outburst is very comedic, Bakugo is showing j- j- just how much he truly cares for Izuku. He's not really even hiding behind any sort of pride or bravado anymore, if, even if it appears that way, like on the surface, like that's. What he's showing is just how is is weirdly enough his his compassion for Izuku and just just how and just how just how much he pretty much cares for well the damn nerd yeah it's weird to say but what we're seeing is is Bakugo's is Bakugo's true feelings again probably probably could have taken it a little more seriously but I think I I think the message is clear Bakugo has basically has basically dropped all pretense of his pride. His pride, and he's just showing how, how much he really cares for Izuku now. Um, getting back to Hawks for a moment, though, one thing I really like about this chapter is is his recognition of the fact that, that despite being younger than him, the fact that, that the fact that Shoto had the strength of will in order to move beyond the abuse inflicted by both his parents, it, it it's it kind of it, it it really just kind of forced Hawks to recognize like what it forced Hawks to to, to recognize. Well, a, a, a lot of of Shoto's maturity in comparison to his own Ill, inability and even cowardice to ever truly reconcile with his own family. It's like it's an interesting little di- dynamic I never really thought about until now. But there definitely are some parallels in how Shoto had had made the decisions Hawks was was too afraid to make, and with the idea of Hawks forming this coalition of the top three heroes of the top three heroes, it's it's obviously Hawks's true means of trying to trying to atone for, for those mistakes he made, but even more so, because of this coalition, I've got a better idea of the dynamics as, as of the dynamics of how they're going to unfold going forward. Because we have to remember, on, on top of on top of this coalition of the three of the three best heroes, Stain is still out there. So th- this coalition obviously is going to unite as many heroes as possible. But on the other end of the spectrum, the like again, Stain is still out there. He's making his own moves, and in that sense, I feel what Stain's going to be doing in his role is where he's 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 probably going to be doing a lot of what he's he's done before. But I think I think now it's uh, Stain's intentions are going to be more focused on the idea of testing the resolves of heroes, and 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 just 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 making sure just making sure they are in fact prepared for, for what's to come because. This this in a lot of ways is is the broken society that 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 that, that has been created from, from pretty much Stain's whole. This is this is in a way like the the society that the Stain had warned about and tr- tried to prevent, but but now that it's here. But now that it's here, he 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 has he's gonna probably try largely to, in in order to try in order to try to like, like bring out the true hero in what in what heroes are left sort of thing. Um, and <clears throat> even though people might not like it, I also really like how even even though the Todoroki family has united to confront Toya, I do still think it's an interesting thing where where, where pretty much Natsuo hasn't really gotten to where Shoto is yet in terms of his current stance in their family, but he's at least starting to recognize the change mo- like more and is grappling even even with the idea of what he needs to do. In the moment, or what he might say to Toya, considering he's still hanging on to a lot of a lot of that resentment and a lot of that resentment that pretty much Toya probably has, and just what exact what exactly he needs to he needs to do about it right now. So yeah, I, I do like how how we got a little bit of, of pretty much to, of 
of, of Natsuo development there too. Uh, but yeah guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and let's your crunch roll. Dead Night of Enemy, signing off. Later guys.